Hey guys, today we're going to be solving the differential equation dy by dx is equal to x into log x. So the aim of solving this equation is going to be to remove this differential, which means that we want the equation to come back into the terms of y, not dy by dx. So to remove a differential, all we have to do is integrate that side, right? which means that I'm going to be starting off by integrating both sides with respect to x because we have dy by dx. So we have the integration of x log x dx. So automatically this left side becomes y. So the first part has been accomplished. And now we're going to be integrating this part using the by parts formula. So we know that we have in the integration of u v with respect to x is equal to the u into the integration of v dx minus the integration of differentiation of u into the integration of v dx. And we decide u and v on the basis of light. If you're not too familiar with these terms, I'm going to be linking a video in the description. You can go watch that. So based on the light rule, we have an algebraic term, which is x, and we have the log term, which means that our u is going to be log x, and v is going to be x. So we have the u into the integration of v, so log x into the integration of x dx, minus the integration of the differentiation of log x into the integration of x dx. So this becomes y is equal to log x into x squared by 2 because the integration of x raised to n with respect to x is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Here because n is 1, this becomes x squared by 2 minus the integration of, we know that the differentiation of log x is 1 by x. And the integration of x is x squared by 2. So there is 1x which gets cancelled. And we can also take 1 by 2 outside the integral sign. So we have y is equal to x squared log x by 2 minus 1 by 2 into the integration of x dx. So now we have y is equal to x squared log x by 2 minus, again, the integration of x is going to be x squared by 2. x squared by 2 into 1 by 2 becomes x squared by 4. We have a minus sign in between. And because there is no other term left to get integrated, we're going to add an arbitrary constant. We have successfully removed the differential sign and there is no term left to be integrated, which means that this is our final answer.